Hey, welcome back to Street Power. On this episode, we'll be discussing Hyperfuel's dual pump system. Now, this is made by Phytech. Phytech is a new up and company, four to five years. And now, they're not as big as Holly or Edelbrock or Aeromotive, but we're going to give them a shot. Now, everything that I've seen from them, from the way they package their stuff, package their products, to the way that they implement their products, everything looks top notch. Alright, I played with the throttle body system, the Phytech has, the 1200 horsepower model, and I've also installed this dual pump system. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open this dual pump system up, we're going to check it out, make sure everything looks awesome, great, just as we expect, and then we're going to install it, and we're going to put it on a vehicle. And I'm going to show you it installed on a vehicle, and I'm going to show you the way that I fed it with my low pressure system going into the Phytech, the Hyperfuel dual pump system. And then I'm going to show you the plumbing that goes all into that, and the wiring that goes all into that. On this episode of Street Power, that's what you're going to see. Alright, uh, what we have here is the Phytech double pump. Now this is the uh, Hyperfuel G Surge. It's got a few names here, but basically it's uh, Phytech is the main mother company, and then you got the uh, this is the Hyperfuel line. This is the dual pump setup. Uh, it has two 340 liter per hour pumps inside, and we're gonna open it up and show its guts. You can tell that it's a uh, double pump set up by the two red fittings that are on the top here. Uh, this is a cap uh, on one of them. But uh, two red fittings right here. That is a dead giveaway that is a double pump assembly. And with that, uh, this is a 1600 horsepower capable for EFI set up so or you know you could take and use one pump uh, and then have a backup um, if you ever had any issues you'd swap the other pump swap a wire swap the uh, fuel line and back up and running and that's kind of where this cap comes in um, you know put the cap over this side you're not using so The double pump assembly has the five fittings here, and uh, obviously the two red we talked about are for the outlets of the pumps. Uh, one of the uh, black ones here, and it doesn't matter which one, they're kind of universal in a way. Um, they just dump directly into this volume. But uh, one of them would come from an external pump. Uh, say one mounted on the motor, a low pressure pump that would say running your carburetor or what have you. Um, the, that pump would pump into say this one and then um, that would fill the tank and then this uh, second one would be uh, a vent back to the gas tank uh, or a uh, return if you want to call um, both. And then the uh, last one would be if you had a um, the fuel pressure regulator on the actual engine, um, this sending the fuel, the red fitting sending the fuel to the engine, uh, there would be a return off of that regulator coming back, um, and then this other fitting would uh, would accept that fuel. So that's uh, that's what all the the fittings do. All right, this is the assembly. As you can see. These are the uh, Phytech pumps that are in the uh, fuel pump assembly here. And they're part number 
102. And they also have these, uh, they call them socks. People call them different things anyway. Um, but that's uh, basically a rough strainer to, to keep your fuel clean. Uh, but it's not the final uh, filter. You do need to add like a, uh, an after filter uh, such to um, keep your injectors nice and clean. So there you go. Two pumps, 340 liter per hour each and capable of supporting 1600 horsepower. And as you can see, there's your uh, wiring assembly there. Uh, nothing real fancy, pretty basic. But uh, anyway, so there you go. All right, guys, at the end of this episode, we're going to have a sneak peek special. So check it out. All right, so this is the low pressure side. Uh, this is the, the Holly Blue Pump, which feeds the hyperfuel system. All right, uh, the suction comes straight from the tank and then the discharge goes into this regulator and then sends it up to the hyperfuel. Now, the instructions recommend you not use a regulator, but the fuel flows so fast from the Holly Blue Pump that it just caused all kind of fuel issues and it just, it, it isn't worth it. Um, so you slow down by using the regulator and you don't wanna have it like screwed down real tight but pretty much if you had it on a carburetor vehicle I left my setting the exact same and it worked great and uh, I've gotten on the truck a few times um, and had no fuel issues at all and I'm here to tell you that the hyper fuel you can have this pump off and let it sit at least idling this is uh, what I've seen is it will run and run and run that volume is enough volume in there it's 1.5 quarts that it will continue to sit there and run to dissipate all that fuel it takes a while so with this regulator slowing the fuel down even if it slowed it down a fair amount it still can fill it up faster than that hyper fuel can get rid of it anyway that's my two cents and uh the uh, other things I recommend is putting these AN hose assemblies. They're easy, easy, easy. You buy them, you know the right length. They come in straight or 90 degree angles, and I think they come in 45 also. You can pick which end sometimes, depending on the manufacturer. And it really makes life easy. You don't have to make up hoses and mess your hands up. You just screw these on and move along. All right, we'll get on down the road. All right, this is the hyperfuel system installed. It's installed on a 1981 uh, Chevrolet Silverado. The hyperfuel system, uh, I made a bracket that sits on the inner fender well and it's screwed down to it. And then the hyperfuel has four mounting points. And, uh, and then I screwed that uh, directly to that bracket. The uh, system right now, this is the inlet. Uh, this is from the low pressure pump that feeds the hyperfuel black right here and then this is the uh, return back to the tank or vent um, back to the tank and you've got the fitting right here this goes to the uh, return from the carburetor or uh, fuel injection system and then this is the supply to that carburetor or fuel injection system you can tell the supply again by the uh, red fitting so it's real simple. They did a great job with the colors. And then uh, this fitting right here is the second pump that's not hooked up currently right now. And it's capped off. So wiring makes it simple. You got two positives, one negative. And the uh, positive that's closest to the red fitting is for that pump. And you hook up the wire. Make sure you run a relay. Now uh, the Phytech. Uh, throttle body system actually is built in set up where you don't have to run a relay it actually can control the pump speed with varying the voltage um, so uh, in this case for the first pump I didn't have to run a relay now when I hook up the second pump I'll run a relay uh, for the higher horsepower levels of this engine and uh, you know get it to kick on uh, later on <laughs>
here's a sneak peek of our next Street Power episode. Hey guys, here at Street Power, we want to make your video experience awesome. If you like our videos, hit the like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep on seeing our original content made just for you.